Those folks from Exploding Kittens are at it again. Welcome back to another Textination interview. I'm Fred Fishkin. And with us is Josh Weaver, Marketing and Communications Manager from Exploding Kittens. Good to see you, Josh. Good to see you too, Fred. Thank you so much for having me back. Uh, before we talk about what is new, and there's plenty to talk about, <laughs> tell our listeners and viewers who may not know the background here a, a little bit about the company. Absolutely. Well, Exploding Kittens, just in a one line, it's a leading game and entertainment company where our mission is to really connect, laugh, and play fun games with people. We started as a crowdfunding project gone incredibly well where the first project, the Exploding Kittens game, uh, we seeked to raise about $10,000 to make a couple hundred versions of the game and ended up raising $8.7 million. Uh, after that Kickstarter success, we went on to crowdfund two more games, uh, Bears vs. Babies and Throw Throw Burrito uh, that I actually have right here. Uh, that was also a big success in crowdfunding pulled in about, um, I believe, 2.7 million for this particular project and has since grown to be our second largest game that we've put out. Uh, now uh, we've put out about 16 games and that's including expansion packs at this point and we have no plans to stop anytime soon. Really exciting. And the, the, the roots of the company were people who were involved in, in tech at least uh, in various degrees, yeah, right? Absolutely. Um, our co-founder, uh, Alon, um, is coming from a background of, you know, working at Microsoft, um, a lot of you know, ARG type, you know, games, as well as our other co-founder, Matthew Inman, is also known online as The Oatmeal, who has been building web comics and his fandom for, you know, 10 plus years now. So the two of them, both coming from tech backgrounds, actually met on a vacation uh, that they were having separately and became very close friends and knew that they needed to do something a little more tactile to kind of give back in that way as well. Well, you've got some new games uh, arriving. Give us the the overview. One, oh. you, one is a follow on, I guess, to the throw throw burrito. It looks. I like. want to start there. I'm so excited to play this game. For, we need to get together at some point so we can play these games. We've only got to meet through Zoom and hang out on online. But uh, I'll tell you, I do want to throw some throw throw burritos at you. Maybe a couple of our new. So the very first game, Throw Throw Burrito, is in essence a dodgeball card game. You are using cards to collect pairs of three. Um, some of those pairs, or some of those sets of three, trigger burrito duels, burrito war, or a burrito brawl, in which you're literally throwing these squishy plush burritos at your opponents. Uh, they are incredibly soft. I have been in the line of fire many times and gotten hit everywhere to make sure that they don't hurt for your pleasure. <laughs> and this game has actually really gone off and is now not only on our site, explodingkittens.com, but you can find that at Amazon, Walmart, Target, and, and frequently outselling a lot of our competitors, which is really the reason why we needed to come up with Throw Throw Avocado, the sequel to Throw Throw Burrito, both in game style and in kind of tone. Throw Throw Avocado is also a dodgeball card game featuring plushy, squishy avocados, but two new big differences here. The first is all of the avocado battles are completely different. Uh, one of them is my personal favorite is the avocado leg duel in which you go back to back, take three steps as paces, turn around and fire the avocado through your legs to hit somebody. It is incredibly fun as a standalone game, but one of my favorite little benefits to Throw Through Avocado is that inside of it, it comes with this special pack of cards that right on it says, do not open. This contains <laughs> a special combo of the game that when paired with Throw Throw Burrito makes a third large combo super game in which you're throwing both avocados and burritos at each other with all new battle types. So. Both of these games are incredibly fun on their own, but combined, they make one big super battle of just burritos and avocados all day. And guacamole would have been way too messy. I, <laughs> you, we have gone through so many other different versions to get to avocado and even burrito. And that was on the table for a minute, but we're like, how do we make that into a blush? <laughs> how do we make that into something I can throw at somebody that doesn't start an all out food fight? But Throw Through Avocado, it's currently, uh, as of you know, the, the end of July, it's currently on pre-order and it goes um, on sale on the uh, 2nd of August. 
Exciting. You got in, into a, a licensing agreement too for, for another exploding product. Tell me about that. Oh man, absolutely. This is actually the seventh iteration of Exploding Kittens, including all of our expansion packs. Um, and this is Exploding Minions. Now for those who can see, we have an awesome fun lenticular on the cover that indeed shows said minion exploding as you walk past or turn the cover. This is very both intimidating and awesome to look at when you go into Target and you just see a whole shelf of them just watching you and exploding as you walk by. But Exploding Minions is exactly that. It's our first licensing agreement where we got to work with NBC Universal Illumination and the team behind all of the minions to create a version of the game that is perfect for seven up, perfect for families. And it really gave us a, a, an opportunity to um, redesign exploding kittens into an even younger and more family friendly game, exploding minions, using a lot of the incredible minions art including getting to put all of them on our cards and watching the oatmeal and our art team go through and design different ways to uh, cause, you know, panic and just awesome fun disarray with all of the Minions characters. Terrific and, and great fun. And that's arriving. This one is on stores, excuse me, it's on shelves it on stores now. Yeah, you can find it at target, target.com or on explodingkittens.com. It kind of leads me to the, to the question, the, the, the ages of players that the, the games are intended for. This one yeah. skews a little bit younger, you're saying? Well, all of our games, we actually right now are ages seven plus. Um, I have played them with some you know, very intelligent five-year-olds, but it really, the seven plus, they're gonna sit down and get the game first try. Um, and that really does kind of run the gambit for all of them, including the Throw Throw Burrito franchise, um, seven plus. And people should not be thrown off by the name of the company. You're not into the animal cruelty thing. Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> In fact, to uh, kind of reverse some of our karma for the name, we have this, uh, we have what we call the Kitty Convict Project, uh, in which we are working with uh, Best Friends Animal Shelter, as well as other partners to make sure that people know that if you have an indoor cat and it has a collar, make sure it wears orange. So if it does escape your house, with an orange collar, it's recognized as an escaped convict and it needs to get picked up. Because I'll tell you what, cats are reported to, uh, you know, have been lost or, you know, wandering at about 7%, whereas dogs, it's, it's much higher. If you see a dog running around, you know it's someone's dog. So add an orange collar and uh, then you'll know your cat's a convict and it needs to be returned home. You've got another iteration of Exploding Kittens with the original name yes. coming too. Tell me oh, about this that. One. I am incredibly excited about if I mean, just to hold up one of our the original exploding kittens game for scale, it is the largest version of exploding kittens that we've ever created. It's called exploding kittens recipes for disaster. Now, over the years, and as our game designers continuously think of fun ways to play exploding kittens, we've come up with a ton of other ways that our game can be played. The very core, you know, play, pass, draw, that is still the exact same and you really don't want to explode. That's at the core of all things exploding kittens. The kittens blow you up. As a note, the kittens don't explode, they explode you. But Recipes for Disaster, it gave us an opportunity to really think of all of the different ways that we could play exploding kittens and we've seen other people play exploding kittens. So as soon as you open the box, the first thing that you're faced with is our incredible new redesigned cone of shame. Now the cone of shame comes from a previous expansion pack and we've gotten to redo it some, but uh, just for those watching, it works exactly as it sounds as the cone of shame around your neck in which if at any point somebody forgets whose turn it is in the game, they are forced to wear the cone of shame for the rest of the game. <laughs> it's a good reminder and a good way to keep people engaged. Uh, although some people really do like wearing the cone. So that's also fun too. <laughs> but inside the box itself, we've done a couple of different things. One, we've included what we call recipe booklets. Now each of these recipe booklets inside has an entirely new way to play exploding kittens. Now, each of these recipe booklets has a very different kind of feel the gameplay to it. If you're somebody who really likes to uh, honestly see the future, 
or kind of get into the like what's coming up in the deck you're going to play eye for an eye that uses a lot of the see the future alter the future cards if you're someone who loves the nope card we have a game that's literally just called nope sauce in which you get to nope the heck out of some of the strongest cards in the deck we have versions of the game that are specifically for two players. We have versions of the game. If you just, the shortest version we've ever made, it's like you can play the entire game in about 120 seconds. Um, that's called Lightning Kittens. And we also include, because we have a lot of people who love making you know, at home versions, we included some blank recipe cards because we want to see what you can come up with, how you can make the game and kind of your own version of it. Uh, but it doesn't stop here because we're going to continuously make these recipes and we're going to be dropping them on our website regularly. So if you get recipes for disaster, you've played all 13, you've made all five new cards and you still want more, you can go to recipes.game, the website that we'll be setting up in the next few weeks to then play even more versions. And we'll just keep updating that with more fun ways to play. But the last thing I got to talk about for recipes for disaster is this awesome box. Now, this seems a little silly just looking at it from this angle, but I cannot tell you how helpful this new box is because what we've done is we've created slats for you to take the entire deck of 121 cards and separate. So if you need to snag a skip quickly, you know exactly where there are. If you need to get a diffuse, if you need to grab a alter the future. So it gives us, we built this box so you could basically categorize all of your cards. So when you're trying to build your next recipe real quick takes no time you can pull exactly what you need and the game is ready to go that's exciting and, and lo love the online component too being able to continually add to it well we have so many good ideas that either come through other designers our designers fans and we always love when people send them to us on social so the more that we get to kind of gameplay and play test these the more that we're going to add to that website so um, look out for that soon. And this game, uh, Exploding Kittens Recipe Disasters, is going to be at Target starting um, the first week of August and then on ExplodingKittens.com on August 10th. Well, you guys certainly have been busy. And speaking of recipes, <laughs> take, us, take us inside here. When, when you guys are working on these games, what is it like in the room? What's, it, what are the, what's the recipe? What's the recipe for recipes for disaster? Yeah, it's, well, I can tell you one component right now that's changed due to the pandemic and work from home. Whereas previously we'd be all be in the same office. Uh, our game designer would come grab a couple people who didn't look like they were super busy and we would sit down and play an iteration of what they were working on. We just recently, um, I think last week actually, had an entire event which everybody from the company, many who actually haven't even met each other in person yet, um, got to get together and play all of our new games that we're currently designing and we have in the works for 2022. Uh, our team has actually grown from about 30 people to 60 people in the last year. So a good chunk of those people are finally getting to play the games in person because up until then, we've used what's called uh, we've used Tabletop Simulator. Excuse me, I was blanking. Uh, and that's a game in which through Steam, all of our game designers can basically mock up the game with all of the rules and the gameplay. And then you're experiencing the game with everybody on Zoom and while playing on basically a simulated tabletop. It's awesome because it allows us to really play with people all over the world, but it really, really, uh, it's a high barrier to entry because it's a new game that you need to learn in order to play the game. So it's been a, a shift that we've made internally while we're working from home, but it really hasn't slowed us down at all. It's uh, It's been awesome because it gives us more opportunity to play more games with people. Curious, what what makes a good employee or what, what, what are the qualities you look for in people? <laughs> I know you, maybe you're not in charge of the actual hiring. <laughs> Who are you looking for when you're hiring? Absolutely. Honestly, we are hiring a lot right now. Um, you can always check our job. But really what we're looking for is someone who is not only committed to, to their role, but is also open to playing games, having fun, and really providing feedback. Because none of these games are made in a vacuum. They require a ton of playtesting, a ton of feedback, um, a ton of just honest, you know, these are my thoughts on this. So not only are we looking for someone who is going to, you know, knock their role out of the park, but someone who's really open to being honest, thoughtful with their kind of response and loves to play games. <laughs> for more info 
maybe to put in an application, where do people go? <laughs> <laughs> well, for that, you can go to explodingkittens.com. Explodingkittens.com is, is the website. And That's you can it. Learn all about the, the old games, the new games, employment opportunities, you name it. Fred, we have so many more games coming. So I'm very excited and hope we get to do another one of these chats soon <laughs> with all of our new stuff next year. Um, and if you get a chance to, we also are in the process of updating our most recent uh, Exploding Kittens app called Kitty Letter. So if you have a chance, check that out and let me know what you think. Excellent. Josh Weaver, thank you for taking the time with us. Fred, thank you so much for having us. Cooking with the power of the sun. Hi, I'm Fred Fishkin here to tell you about the latest innovation from my friend Patrick Sherwin and his great team at GoSun Stove. The GoSun Fusion has arrived using the company's tried and true reflectors and a solar vacuum tube to get you cooking without the mess of charcoal, heavy propane tanks, or smoke. A really bright idea. And with an optional solar panel and battery storage and the ability to plug in at home or on the road, you really can use the GoSun Fusion to cook anytime and anywhere, day or night, rain or shine. I love what Patrick and his team are doing, and so will you. Want to learn more? Head to GoSun.co to check out all of the company's products and innovations, and use the code TEXTINATION to save 10%. That's GoSun.co.